Welcome back everybody. Consistency was the topic of the first video and our second video is about the cumulative effect. So on my wellness program that I mentioned last time, I was actually working with a whole team of health professionals at the same time. So I wasn't just doing this wellness program. I also have a chiropractor, a massage therapist, an acupuncturist, a wonderful GP and a naturopath. So there were many other inputs going on that were contributing towards my health and well-being and what was happening was with the consistency that I was applying in following their directions as well as my health point program as well as all of the other things that I was doing I was making amazing progress and what was happening was that each of these activities was supporting each other activity within my whole physical energetic and emotional and mental well-being so I was being supported supported on multiple levels and this produced a cumulative effect. So not only was I making changes in one particular habit, it was accumulating, accumulating across a number of different habits as well as nutritional inputs for my body, as well as making sure that, that we were achieving the right balance in many other ways. And so altogether, the sum was greater than the parts. The, the outcome of the sum is greater than the collective inputs of the separate parts. And that's the principle of the cumulative effect of change. There's one more part to this series coming up and that's part three, which is about compounding. So come right back again tomorrow and you'll see part three. Why is cumulative and compounding related? Okay, talk to you then, bye.